if I'm having to pick seven bags from the babies behind me that I love and adore and swap them out with seven other bags. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am back with a tag video. I was tagged by my good friend here on YouTube, Deal from Deal's Addiction, and it is to do the seven bags from seven brands tag. Um, I find this a little difficult because I actually, when I looked at my collection, I only have handbags, and I, I say only, but I only have handbags from two fashion houses. I only have Chanel and Louis Vuitton. So trying to come up with seven brands to swap them out, out for was a little bit difficult. But we got there, and my understanding of this tag is that I had to pick seven bags that I have, replace them with seven other bags, one from each design house of seven houses and I'm only allowed to use that design house once. I think that's the correct premise of the tag. That's the way I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> so if that's not the way it's meant to be done, I apologize, but that was my understanding. Before we jump in, somebody sent me a message about this top. Um, it's from Ted Baker and if I can find it, I will link it below. I can't remember who it was that sent me the message and the necklace, in case anybody's wondering, is from Mavery on Instagram. So the first bag that I'm gonna start with is this. I don't care if you think it's cheating. <laughs> so this is my beautiful Teddy Blake bag that I unboxed a while ago on my channel and I will leave the link for Teddy Blake in the description box if anybody's interested. I really, really, really like this bag and whenever I was explaining why I picked this bag, I had said at the time that this bag is very like a very, very expensive very very exclusive bag and I don't have that bag and I don't have the relationship probably to be able to get that bag so I wanted to try it out and I picked this one and I'm of course talking about the Hermes Kelly bag specifically for me in the 25 probably in the cellier not that I've given this a lot of thought <laughs> probably in the cellier and in the deep pink color and with either a gold or a rose gold hardware and I will put a picture on the screen of the bag that I mean and I would now the Teddy Blake bag don't get me wrong I really really love it and it is a much 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 more affordable version of that bag to still give that classic type shape. But if I'm having to pick seven bags from the babies behind me that I love and adore and swap them out with seven other bags and I've had to, to do that, there's bags here that I wouldn't want to swap out for anything, I wouldn't want to get rid of. But if that is the case and that's what we're doing on this tag, I thought I'm going to upgrade this beauty and I'm going to go for the Hermes Kelly and she's going to be lovely and she's going to love it here in her new home and we're going to make her very welcome and it's going to be a long loving lasting relationship. And I've had a little bit of caffeine this morning, but I have children, so we're gonna skip on past that. <laughs> That's the way it's gonna go over here today. Um, so the second bag is the Chanel 19, and if you have watched my videos before or follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I really love this bag. I think this bag is absolutely fabulous. If I had to swap this bag out, I would swap it out for the YSL Small Lulu. I did have the YSL Small Lulu and I sold it and the reason that I sold it, I never ever used it and as I explained at the time, I am pretty certain that the reason I never ever used it is it's a similar type bag to this one. So whenever I was reaching for a bag of this type of silhouette to use that's like this type of idea, I always went for the Chanel 19. So the one that is the most similar to it that I can think of and if I was going to swap it out, I would go with the Small Lulu. I would get it in the same colour that I already had it in, which is this beautiful, beautiful mocha latte type colour. It's really, really lovely. I'll put a picture on the screen, but this time I would probably get the gold hardware because I tend to be going for gold hardware more at the minute, but I would swap that for it. And then I think the YSL would at least get used if this baby wasn't already in my collection. After that comes this, and this one was actually quite straightforward. So this is the Louis Vuitton um, multi pochette accessoire which I unboxed recently and I have to say I have used this bag for the limited amount of places that we go a lot for the time that I've had it and it's because for me it is just so easy to wear 
because at the minute we are in all the time, we're still in full lockdown and we obviously have the children, anywhere we're really going is quite casual. This bag has been perfect. I've just been grabbing it and throwing it across me. So if I had to swap out seven of my bags, I would swap this one out for the Prada re-edition version. I said in another video that I wasn't going to buy the Prada re-edition, but it's because it's so similar to this. But if I couldn't have this one, I would buy the Prada re-edition. And I think possibly in the black because it would just go with so many things and be so easy to wear. So I'm thinking that's what would come instead of the multi-pochette. Just being careful where I'm setting these. No more dropping luxury. The next bag I've chosen to swap out is the Chanel Gabrielle. This would hurt. I, I love this bag. Um, I, I really would not choose to be getting rid of this bag. But if I was swapping this one out, I would swap it out for the Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag. Um, I suppose what's probably making me go for that instead of this is Cassie Thorpe's one in the bright, bright green with the chain. And I would want the chain because I'm thinking the chain would do the same sort of idea as this. And it's a bit of a statement and it's quite dramatic. So I would go for this and I would go for a bright colour. Um, I'm going to put on the screen Cassie's green one. I think it's fabulous. I don't know if I would particularly go for the green, but it would be a bright colour to make an impact in my wardrobe and an impact on my collection because we all know I love bright colours. I love colour, bring in the rainbow. It's all fun. And that would be definitely something that I would consider if this one had to go. Now, this one's a bit random. It, it really is a bit random. So I have chosen the Louis Vuitton twist. Now, why I have chosen what I would swap this out for, I have, I have no idea, but it's just a bag. Do you know, um, if you are on Instagram, Stella on Instagram, it's her fault. She has a Dior saddlebag in the blush colour and she has a pink and creamy type coloured guitar strap to go with it. And I am a little bit fixated on that bag. But in that particular colour and with the guitar strap, I really, really like it. So if I had to get rid of the twist bag in this lovely light pink colour and this for the interest, I'm going to say that I would swap this out for the Dior saddle bag and then the guitar strap I'm thinking would replace the patterned monogram in the black and white to just give it something that little bit more interesting and give it that kind of statement to add to the bag but it would definitely be in the blush pink and I'm going to have whatever photo I'm going to steal one of Stella's photos and put it on up here because it's just the colour of that bag with the strap I think is fabulous and to be honest that is the only saddle bag that has ever really grabbed my attention and made me think ooh I might like to add a saddle bag to my collection at some stage. We're probably lucky that in Ireland we don't have an actual Dior store so I haven't been able to travel to go and see the saddlebag anywhere yet, but it's definitely one that's on my radar. Now the next one, and again, this bag would pain me to let go. This is one of those bags. This is the Chanel rolled up bucket bag that was a seasonal bag. And this version of the Chanel bucket bag just seemed to really, really take off and become very, very hot. I had to get this tracked down by a personal shopper, Lux Lover from Instagram tracked this down for me. And I really, really love this bag. It's one of those bags that I get an awful lot of messages about asking me if I would sell. It's very easy to use because it has this little top handle here, but then it also has a longer strap that's tucked in there under its stuffing um, to pull it out and wear a crossbody or wear on your shoulder. And I keep an organizer in it to keep its shape. Really, really, really love this bag. If I had to swap this bag out, I would swap it out, and this is Dale's fault, who tagged me in this video, but I would swap it out for the Fendi bucket bag, the, the mini one, and I will put a picture in. Um, I really, really like it. I really, really like it in the Zucker print. Fashionably Amy has the red version, which is what grabbed my attention and made me interested in this bag. The only one that I've ever seen was a green, which I didn't particularly like, but I really, really like the Zucker print on it. I think it's quite cool. I think it's something a bit different. I think the print on that mini leather bag just gives it a little bit of interest. It also has a little top handle like this. It also has a cross body strap and I really think in the right colorway that I would really really like that. Like if you look at the hound's um, tooth tweed there in the background, I like something with a bit of 
texture and a bit of print and a bit of something else to it and I think that the Zucca print in that mini little bucket bag really really does it and I actually sent a picture of it to Dale not that long ago. I can really see it and I think that that would work in my collection so if, if I had to swap this one out I would add that one in. I think that would be a, a pretty good bag to have. <gasps> Oh no! I have just realised, I've just looked down at my notes and I was about to blame Deal again and blame if, by the way, if you don't know Deal, I will leave her channel down below. Deal is the Fendi queen and I was about to deal, uh, to blame Deal again and say this is Deal's fault as well because she has me looking at Fendi and that's made me realise that I have chosen two Fendi bags as choices and you're only allowed to use a design house one. I'll show you just for completeness what I had chosen but then I'm gonna have to quickly think of another one because I can only use Fendi ones. So if I had to swap out the Louis Vuitton capucines which oh in the mini size in this colour just hello take a little piece of my heart I'm not gonna sing that because I'm tone deaf but take a little piece of my heart I absolutely love this bag. Look at this colour with this malachite green in it it's just fabulous it's fabulous. If I had to swap this baby out, as well as the tears that would be flowing, not that I get dramatic or anything over here, I would swap it out for the Fendi Mini Peekaboo. Now, strictly speaking, that can't form part of this tag because I've now used Fendi twice. But there is, and Dale had it actually in one of her videos, it's a light pink colour. And I'm going to put a picture, I'm going to take a look at the website and put a picture up of what one I would pick it out for. Or I would swap it out for, but I would swap this out, swap this out for a Fendi Mini Peekaboo, Peekaboo, I can't speak. I would swap this out for a Fendi Mini Peekaboo and I would buy one of those Fendi straps that Dale has. It's a thick one with the double F zucker print right across it and it just toughens this up a little bit and be able to wear it cross body. And I would, I would like that Fendi Mini Peekaboo. Now, Stay with me. So back to the drum board, given that I made this mistake. So the pen, Fendi Peekaboo, I really am having trouble saying that today. The Fendi Peekaboo is what I would swap this out of. But if I can't do that because it's already been used, the other option that I would swap this out for is the Louis Vuitton Point Neuf bag. Now, I know it's got a lot of criticism, but I think in the caramel colour, it's very, very beautiful. And the reason I've went for this is this is a Louis Vuitton leather bag that I wear cross body and that's obviously the same. It's quite like the Dior Bobby bag but I've already used Dior already. But it's that type of shape and silhouette. I think as a cross body bag it would be actually really really nice. I used to have the Louis Vuitton Vivian cross body bag but there were glazing issues with that bag. The Point Neuf reminds me of it greatly. It's a very very similar shape and the Vivian bag is a bag that I wore a lot because it was a leather cross body bag and I wore it so much. So I think the Point Neuf would work well as a swap out for this. I hope I can swap out Louis Vuitton with Louis Vuitton but I'm still changing the bag so <sighs> let's be a rule breaker over here today and let's hope that that's okay. So those are the seven bags from my collection that I would swap out with seven bags from seven brands sticking with one per brand. I hope that's been entertaining. I hope it's given you a little bit of insight into the different types of bags. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for being here. I hope you're well. Please take care and I'll see you again in the next one.